In this video, I show you some of the IntelliSense features in CalStudio. IntelliSense includes code editing features like autocompletion, quick info and parameter help. It lets you rename variables in one go and helps you to browse through your code quickly. Let me start with the quick info or source hover feature. This is a pop-up with helpful information when you hover over a code element. Hovering over a function call, the signature and documentation is shown, which you can scroll through. Variables reveal their type. If you hold the command key when using macOS or the control key on Windows or Linux machines, you first see more information and then a link appears that you can use to navigate directly to the file containing the code element. The file opens in a new window so that you can examine the code and switch back easily to the place where you have left off. Using a right click on the code element, you can use the peak option to see the code as an overlay on the currently opened file. You can even check all references of the code element by selecting Peak References. In the overlay, you can browse through the code as well. Right click anywhere in the code and use Go to Symbol to see the list of code symbols. Use it to browse to the right place quickly. Code editing features help you to write code faster. For example, when you start typing a keyword, type, function or variable name, the editor offers to complete what you are typing. A drop-down list with suggestions opens where you can select what you need. Clicking the I icon gives you more details on each option. The tab or enter key will add the proposed code. To see a list of current errors in your project, switch to the Problems view. It shows each problem and clicking on one will take you directly to the code. Hovering over the error shows more information and the Quick Fix option lets you correct it in one go. If you click on the error, use the light bulb to get instantaneous access to the fix. Sometimes you want to rename a class, function or a variable. Use the Rename Symbol option. This option renames all the occurrences of a symbol in the file you are currently working on. Simply enter the new symbol name in the box and the rest is handled by the editor. Finally, if you want to beautify some code, you can either do that for the whole document or for a selected area. Simply mark it in the editor and select Format Selection. Done. There are more cool features of IntelliSense available, such as refactoring and code linting, so I suggest to take a look at the online documentation.